fly line weights, lengths, and tapers. Fly lines come in different weights, denoted by a little hashtag symbol. Okay, this is hashtag two, which means it's a two weight. This is hashtag three, which means it's a three weight, and so on, four weight, five weight, and so on. On your rod, it's written hashtag and a number. That means what weight lines you get. If it says hashtag five, you need to get a five weight line. Simple as that. Let's start there. The weight of a fly line is measured by the weight of its head. It's exactly the same as in normal fishing. That bit there, in fly line terms, is called the head. It is the weight that loads the rod, that makes it bend, which flicks it out. This bit, this yellow bit, this fishing line, is called the running line on a fly line. The running line is attached to the head. To measure fly line weight, we only measure the weight of the head. What's confusing people is that there are two ways to measure head weight. The traditional way is to measure just the first 30 foot of that head, no matter what length it is, and then correlate that to a graph and give it a hashtag rating, a weight. That's the traditional way, it's called the AFTM. Another way of doing it is to measure the whole head length, not just the first 30 foot, the whole head length. Different countries have different ways of doing it. Head lengths, think of a small bird flying around, darting around, very sort of agile and nimble, but a little erratic. Now, take a golden eagle, flying, soaring, much greater wingspan, everything looks more graceful. The small bird is a short head, the big golden eagle is a long head. Well, we all want to be like the golden eagle, so pick that one, ah, ah, ah. The longer the head length, the longer we're going to have to move our wingspan as well, physically. Our arms and our bodies are going to have to move. And some people don't have that ability to move their bodies like that at this stage. With a long, graceful stroke like this, like the Golden Eagle, the tip of the rod can waver. It's got a longer distance to do it. There's more time to make mistakes. So beginners and sort of intermediary guys, they find it harder to cast long heads. Short heads, the small bird darting, the movements are more compact. There's less room to make mistakes. Good rule of thumb down the middle is to get a mid-length head. How would you know what a mid-length head is? Because it's relative to the length of your rod times the length of your rod by four. That'll give you a mid-head. If you've got a 10-foot rod, 40 foot. It gives you the sort of stability and the grace of the golden eagle, but the ease of casting and the sort of punchiness of the smaller bird with the short head. If you've got a 10-foot rod, get a 40-foot head. You can break the rule, you can come down. Say if you only do three times the rod length, that's gonna give you a 30-foot head. You're definitely gonna be that little, little sparrow-type bird, okay? You can, you can times it by a greater number, times it by five. If you've got a 10-foot rod, now you've got a 50-foot head. Now that's the golden eagle. It's harder to cast, but it's more stable, more graceful. Right down the middle is times the rod length by four. Tapers, okay. Let's go back to this. It's got a shape to it, hasn't it? That has to be shaped to put some weight in it. That is the running line. It doesn't need to have any weight on it. It can just be level and thin. And that's what a fly line is. The running line's always level and thin. It doesn't constitute any of the weight or shape. But the head, that has all the shape and weight in it. How you shape the head of a fly line affects what payload it gives. Now you know what a fly line is. It has a head on it and it has a running line on it. The way we measure that head weight is sometimes with the first 30 foot of it or the whole head length. We never take into account the running line. We're only ever talking about the head length. We know there are different lengths of head, longer and shorter. We know that we're going to have to move our bodies differently to cast longer and shorter heads. And we also know what tapers do. They deliver different types of payloads, big flies, small flies. Short, blunt taper, big flies. Long, thin, delicate taper, smaller, dry flies, wets. That's fly lines, tapers, lengths, and weights. I enjoyed that one. It was hard.